I can feel like 80 rats in my Marys. Me and Drizzy back to back is getting scary. If you fucking with my eyes, just don't come near me. Put some bins all on your head like Jason Terry. Whoa. Let's get it, let's get it. You're the Face on True Podcast. You already know, welcomes you back, welcomes you back, man. At 5 p.m. Eastern time, we are here. We Every are here, Thursday, man. man. Every Thursday, man. As you see right here, we have game shit. We have non-believers. We have yeah, shout out non-believers. Shout man. out to the brother, bro. Shout out to the brother. Hey, more is coming. More is on the way with that as well. Hats out there. Hey, we're gonna put that link below. Make sure you guys go cop that and get that. Okay. Hey, stay in tune. Stay in tune. And as you already know, the platform, the Phase on You podcast. We are here. Go we are here. Power. Merch. Merch is coming soon, as you see, as you see. Mass fifteen dollars. Your hoodies will be forty five. Hey, website coming soon, so stay in tune with that, man. As you hear in the background, as you hear in the background, just like you know, our last episode was dedicated to. Um, this is a, this is a tough one. This is a tough one to even talk about, even even really even delve into. But at the end of the day, man, rest in peace, X man. We love you. Rest in peace, Dark Man. That was my oh, uncle's my, my uncle's Dope. favorite artist. A lot of a lot of people's favorite artists. He was in my top five. He in my top two. But Sheesh. honestly, just 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 real. Just real. Like X, he was captive, he was captivated, just like we spoke to last episode, but he captivated so many field, different fields. You know, not just in not just in acting, not just in rapping, but touching the people more important most importantly. As you see after his his at his death, all the love and support. Um, from all the families and friends and all the videos that you see, just random videos of X doing something. That's X, random. he was he was dancing at a, a somebody, rave, yeah, somebody a rave wedding, wedding bro. That was, <laughs> it's just beautiful. Like you know, he was living life, and what we loved about X, he was genuine and true. You don't you don't really meet people like that. Yeah, you don't man. get people like that. And I feel like the last person on that realm. And I know you know you don't want to continue to make the comparison because X is his own man. But Pop, I'm just being real. It, it reminds you that because they never you seen them, they never shied away from speaking their mind. If X didn't want to see you or be an interview with you or talk to you, he'll let you know too. Yeah. So that's that's what we really loved about X, how genuine, how real he was. And to lose a brother like this is just, it's hurt, it's hurtful, but also we both know how spiritual X is and religious X has always been. He knew the Lord, man. He knew the Lord, and he you know that. Lord. And you know that for sure. And that's, every every time. That's that's the blessing in it, man. That's why you, that's why it's a celebration, man. Mm -hmm. You gotta be happy about it. Yeah, go ahead. Finish them. Nah, but at the end of the day, bro, like I'm just saying, at, at the end of the day, seeing him in prayer and seeing him talk to people and really delve into delve into people, not really understanding and and knowing all of him, but still delving and giving his heart to people because at the end of the day, ex upbringing he didn't really have much. So when he talks to people and expresses that with people, it's not oh I'm DMX the celebrity, you know I'm Earl. You get what I'm saying? Or else soon. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, so it's it's real. It's real. So shout out to X, man. Yeah, um Yeah, just a just a true just a true one on one. Just if I just if I'm gonna talk about so I know I talk about his rap, just who he is as a rapper, just a true one on one mean when you talk about rap, man, rap is always supposed to, it's, it is street and it is gritty. And um but even within rap, to be to have a certain mainstream level success. Kind of have to, you're supposed to tone it down a little bit. You look at guys like like Fifty and Jay and even Big. Those guys were those guys were real street guys, but even mm -hmm. they had to still find a yeah. way to tone it down for the mainstream. Man, X was a guy. Yeah. That's why he's going away. There's nobody liked him that had the type of mainstream that he had, but his gritty was turned all the way up. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was always rough. It was always it was always in your face. It was always hard. It was always. I mean. And he and he like, I'm like who like that's like that's right. not supposed to work, but like it, it works and right. like there's no one else that's like there's no, no one like he's one on man. He's probably probably got the greatest voice in hip hop. Yeah, he's one of one. Probably the best at knowing how to change his voice. He was a master at changing his voice going up. Like I'm gonna get you either way, yep. and it's better to live. Let me get what's in your sock, cause it's better to give. Like he was yeah, he was nah, the he king did. of that. The way he changed his voice up and down. Deflections, like he knew how to, he just knew how to use it, and know how to do certain tones, and you could just, you could, he was one of those guys you could, like there are plenty of guys who who are known to rap about pain, mm -hmm. like Pac rapped about pain, Eminem rapped about pain and struggle, and 
even been rapping about pain and struggle. Mm -hmm. But X is one of those guys you could you could feel it when he rapped. You could, feel, you could right. feel the past, you could feel his pain and you know, it was just great to have a guy that that, that still knew to point the, the credit back to the Lord. And people often ask, Well, how can how can X have seventeen kids and be addicted to drugs and still rap about violence but claim to be this Christian? That's, he was human, man. That's why he was human. Yeah, is. You're not gonna find a even myself, you're not gonna find a believer in Christ that didn't have their struggles. Even if you look at the Bible, there are plenty of guys that had their struggles. Mm -hmm. Samson was a was a righteous guy, but his weakness was with was, was, was with women. Um mm -hmm. Solomon was the wisest man that ever lived. His weakness was with women. David was a man for God's own heart, and he became a, an adulterer and a murderer. So you're never gonna find somebody that's perfect. That's mm -hmm. what was human, but you know, he's just a Truly, truly a special guy just from his acting skills, even just the way he talked. He was just, there was just nobody like him, mm -hmm. you know, and he's just a guy you just had to respect. And he was a guy that, you know, you, you, you give respect, he, he show respect. Even if there are people who you think, oh, he didn't like them. Like, no, like, this is a competitive aspect of him. Like, people think, oh, him and him and Jay always had beef. No, they didn't. It was, it was respected. It was just, they weren't, they, they weren't friends. But they weren't enemies. It was, they, there was great respect for them as MCs, as as people, Absolutely. and that's well, that's why X felt the way he said. I didn't like him because we battled. Mm -hmm. That's just what it was. It was a competitive aspect. Like he's my he's my arch nemesis. He never had real beef with Jay. Yeah, he, he just that was just. But that's the type of dude that X was, man. It's, he just it's a it's selfish because you know you wish he was here and you know his family needs him and we need him. But you know the Lord's will is the Lord's will. And X understood that better than anybody. So it's a celebration. You know he wouldn't trade his place with us. For Anything in the world, you right. could, you wouldn't trade his, you would, he wouldn't trade his space. I love this song, my favorite X song. But um, yeah, man, X was just true, true one on one. One, ain't nobody like the dog, man. Nobody, nobody like the nobody. dog. And that's and it, you gotta learn something from him, man. Mm -hmm. I don't care what you're going through, bro. If there's anybody you can learn from, it's X. Mm -hmm. X done been like, through so many things more than anybody else. And every time you hear Slipper, like that, that tells that tells the story itself. Yeah, man. Like everything, and everything in, his, in total that a lot of millions and millions have been through. You know what I'm saying? He tells that story vividly. Yeah, man. And and to straight to the point. So it's just it's it's a blessing that we even got to grace his presence. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, yeah, like to even to even see or to even know who DMX is because, like you said, he's one to one. He's one on one. One on one. Anybody like, could There's nobody. It's really nobody. Nobody like, could Nobody. Dog. I don't nobody. care what we talking about. Nobody. But man, really rest in peace, X. Honestly. Dogs honestly, never die, man. You dog never die. Dog for life. But <sighs> left. I've been grinding like crazy. Hey, man, you got to. You got to, man. I've been grinding like though. crazy. It's for X. Cradles to the Graves on HBO. It's, it's, I watched it. I was like, yo, man. Like, and X was actually our upbringing. You feel man, me? Man, like, I've been, I've been, I've been going X crazy nah. since this, man. It's ridiculous. So, moving on. Uh, than, unfortunately, man. unfortunately, this is a hard thing to move on to, and we're not taking. Uh, I'm not taking this uh, easily at all. Like just like all the other podcasts you previously watched before, and if you watch this podcast frequently, and for you new listeners, so just understand and know that we really talk about things that are going on, especially with our people. So this is another hurtful, hurtful situation in the midst of George Floyd's trial. In which I wanted to speak on, but I wanted to wait until the trial and wait until all the things and details came out dealing with the trial. You mean the because trial that should have been over? The trial that should have been over, and which is why I'm already frustrated. But rest in peace, Dante Wright, who was fatally shot by the Minnesota police officer, woman officer, in the midst, like I just said, of this thing going on with George Floyd. Up today, right now, officer. The officer Porter will face second degree manslaughter. So she's resigned. For, first and foremost, to, to break everything down, once again, once again, our fellow black man or black woman, because it could have been a woman as well, fatally shot and killed. We're going through a situation with George Floyd where they're questioning third degree, and you have also um, this man, uh, a defense, a defense officer, uh, a defense witness of today, who said um, his actions were justified. The coward who put his dag on knee, I like that on word. George Floyd's neck, for eight minutes and forty six seconds, while he cried for his mother. You, yeah, man. And look, and this goes to show, this is just. It should be over, bro. Because at the end of the day, you really think about it, 
they're choosing violence. They they want, I'm not just saying they, I'm not saying uh, any entity, we know who they are. Those people who are really just have a certain type of evil in them. Because that's a different type of it's hate. It's a hard issue. It's a hard, it's issue, a hard and issue, and that is taught. That is in depth, and that's, and that's in you, embedded in you. That you can hate that strong Facts. and can and sit here and think that it's justifiable that you shouldn't get time. Jacob Blake, up to date. All this doesn't just happen at once for, for anything, Hugh, and you know that. Yeah, Jacob right. Blake, up to date, hit the officer who uh, almost fatally shot him. Went back to went back to work like it was nothing. He doesn't hate. He doesn't have any charges. Nothing on the table. It's like when when will this end? When will it stop? Because at the end of the day, that's what is enticing a civil war, and you can see it right in front of you, and you can see all the propaganda and everything dealing with regarding oh to our lives being lost, and to a lot of people uh, on the in the media realm trolling Black Lives Matter. This is ridiculous, and it's crazy because history only repeats itself. But it's 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 so disgusting that we sit have to have to sit here and report this as black men in the, in this world. Because guess what? Every single day that you're driving or you're doing something small, you see a police officer just drive past you. Your life goes by real quick. You're like you're, you don't know what like, to expect, you don't know what to expect or anything. And I'm not even saying just pulled over, just casually driving by. And if that light and if that light come on, that might be your last breath. You, know, like, you shouldn't have to be like that. At a certain point, it's like when do people, when do when do officers who feel like this start to question whether it's worth it or not? Bro. And when I mean worth it, I don't even just mean like taking someone's life. I mean everything that comes after that. The family, you having to resign, you getting fired, and then having to go to trial. When do, when do people realize that none of that is worth it for the things that you stop folks for? Like, it wasn't, it's not like, I'm, all the things that dude's going through right now in this trial is, was not worth it. All the, if all George Floyd had was a $20 bill. Like, think about that. You sitting here in court because some dude had a $20 bill. But it's built No off, one ever thinks like but that. But it's not even it's that. Like, it's that too. But it's like we just said originally, it's built off of hate. Yeah, it's like, built off of that's hate. That's my so, thing. Like, when is any when is someone gonna question whether or not like do I really want to go and through then, all of this? And then it's but it, it's it's crazy because it comes into a situation where you mistaken a a a, a handgun for Wait, that was a terrible. taser. My home, my homie, my homie. Why uh, I, my, I got a question though. I got a question though. You why are you exercising either one if your life is not threatened? It doesn't, it doesn't matter. And it difference. doesn't matter. And that's the sick part. Yeah, that's the right. sick part. We have these people behind these badges that you they know what type of time they on. You know what type of time they on. You can see the pendulum changing. Okay, let's move. Let's move a little forward. A week ago, you let's keep it going. A week ago, an army second lieutenant, oh, yeah, that was a black army second lieutenant, Hugh, wrongfully harassed and pepper sprayed by Virginia officers. So this man is in the army actively active no country. like actively Hugh serving the country serving the country has his hands up asking you why are you stopping me what is going on can I please ask what's going on get out the car sir get out the car sir we're gonna pepper spray you get out the car sir get out the car continues to spray him in his eyes as he's still asking questions telling him to get out the car and all of you guys want to laugh and troll, not saying all of you guys, the people over here that think a certain way want to laugh and troll about what's going on with people kneeling for the flag and what was going on yeah, with Kaepernick. Supposed to be but at, their, to the, but to at the, the end of the day, disrespectful for the veterans, but like Ali said, why would I go fight the Viet Cong, Vietnamese, Viet anybody if I am being disrespected and mistreated and killed in my own country? I have to come back actively yeah and get treated like that and get treated like I, that i just went out my way to protect you keep you safe but we have complaints about the kneeling of the flag it is a much deeper issue and and, and it's crazy because it's not it's not that people don't understand you i don't care i don't want to hear that no more it's not a thing about misunderstanding you choose to hate yep that it's a choice and you're choosing hate I, we just spoke about four situations you we talk about four situations. We talk about one that really 
changed the world. And guess what? And while it changed the world, we're still sitting here awaiting trial. Yep. I just watched. Uh, and we're talking about three strangers. situations that just happened this week. I just watched Two Distant Strangers with, uh, with Joey Badass. That's that new joint on Netflix. Mm -hmm. And, and it, like the message is pretty much you know, what we're talking about. And then like at the end, it goes through like the list of the list of names and the reason. I'm like, I'm just looking at that list. I'm like, yo, this is wild. I'm like, this is wild. Like this really could have been me at any given moment in time. Like it really could have been me or a friend of mine or a family member of mine. You know, last thing I say is, man, just shout out, I mean, rest in peace to Dante Wright, man. Rest in peace to Dante Wright. It's, rest in peace to Dante don't make no sense. Like, it's not really, he, you said everything that can be said. And I have a homie as a police officer. There's no way you can mistake a handgun for a taser. He said the weight difference in your hand alone should let you know you ain't got a handgun in your hand. Mm -hmm. Then they're bright yellow. And that's another thing. It's like, there's just right. no way, to, there's no way possible to make that, um, that mistake. And you shouldn't have had either one in your hand for somebody wanting to go get a car wash, for somebody having an air freshener in their um in their in their in their um in their rear view. It's just tragic, man. And it, and it's sick that you said that you in the in regards to like the reasoning. Yeah, this is <laughs> if you go back to the reasoning, things. you go back to the reasoning. What? And you have a white man who walked in the church and shot out black people and walked out. Shut up, and, Asian and, and, people. And, and then shout out Asian people like what, what, what? Yeah. And we, but we know, we know it's not like we don't know. But it's like it, it's sickening because we're in twenty twenty one, bro. This stuff has is not new to anyone. People of you know people what I'm saying. Authority, authority is going to know It's not yeah. new. The people of authority are going to be the ones that, that's going to feel this. As much as this gets worse, the people of authority are going to be the ones that's going to have to deal with this more. Cause they're the ones that, that they're the ones that Absolutely. aren't making the right decisions as far as like with Breonna Taylor's case Absolutely. And, and things Still like no that. Justice. And I would just encourage like if you are if you are somebody who's in the realm of wanting to be a lawyer stuff like that, I would just implore you to to just to stretch your ambition to try to become the DA mm -hmm. of, of of your town. Cause that's those, what, yeah, those are the people. That's where it starts. Yeah, that's where it starts. Those are the people who will make those type of decisions. That's where it starts. And if you can get some power up there. Then you can make an example that you know, hey, listen, not, I can't affect the whole country, but not in my city. Mm -hmm. That crap won't fly here. You shoot somebody unlawfully if you want to, you will be out of a job and you'll be behind bars. Not Real in talk. my town. Real talk. But that's where it starts, man. Those people are going to feel it the worst, feel it the most. The governors, the, the district attorneys, your, your chief of police, definitely. And yeah, and I'm just getting tired of the notion and, and disgusted at the notion, oh, yeah, well, you know, these group of people, these animals, these whatever you want to sit here and call our people. Are you crazy? That are they, and, and talking about on fire and, and things of riots and all this, what do you expect to happen? Because if, if the tables were turned and that was a black against Caucasian, what would we be sitting here talking about? We would be talking about him losing his job. And Mike going to going be to under the jail. Under the jail. Shoot, man. Shoot. It's disgusting. Rest in peace. Dante Wright. Prayers up to Jacob Blake. Yeah, prayers to all parties of all, man. Rest in peace, George Floyd. Prayers to you and your family. Rest in peace, Beyonce Taylor. Prayers to her and her family. And also prayers to the... Army, I didn't get his name, the Army Second Lieutenant, and we can go down the list. Yeah. And, that, and that's the that's our that point. video. Was we can we can go we can just go down the list. That's that's our point, and that's and that's the most disgusting thing. Let's just make sure that we are doing our part and, and picking up and picking up our people, not not really bringing each other down. To be honest, because we're seeing instances like this. This is this is the time, guys. We have to bridge the gap. We got to come together. All these hating each other. Looking at each other a certain type of way, honestly, it, it got it got to go out the door. Yeah, it has to, bro. It really has to. This this is this is the time. Change something has to give. This this is the time. Something this is, is a, 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 something ridiculous. has to give. It ridiculous. Is, it has to give. It's disgusting that we every every time we visit this, it's like uh, we both get a sense. We everybody gets a sense that this is not the last time that something like this is going to happen. It has to give. Something has to give. You know, there's no room for. 
anything in the middle of wiggle room, like something has to be. Like you said, this starts at the top. So I hope we begin to see changes and also like we like we said, we can only make change within ourselves and the people around us and honestly just keep building each other up. So hey man, honestly, prayers to everyone involved. <sighs> so that was that was that was hard to get through, but we're gonna lighten it up, lighten it up, get back on a on a good track, guys. Get back on a good track, man. Best rapper actors. We had this conversation and rest in peace, Dark Man X. We ain't gonna we gotta keep saying it. The X, the dog. Dog never dogs dog never die. So he is one of one already, but we, we're gonna get into the best rapper actor. So the list I have here, we're gonna go, I'm just gonna go through the list and then we're just gonna break down, you know, each one. Honestly, not each one or our favorites prefer preferably. So the best rapper actors, Tupac, like we said, X, of course, Ice Cube, Will Smith, Ice T, Queen Latifah, Ludacris, Common, Snoop, T I, Most Deaf. And I'm not I'm sorry to have it last, but it's one of the best ones last too though. Met them man. So and 50. And I, did I say 50? 50, I'm sorry. 50, I'm sorry. Definitely 50, because I had 50 on there. 50 for sure. But first, first and foremost, man, I'm gonna be real with you. This is not even a hot take. I feel like this is a true statement. If he was to still be alive, I feel like he would he might be a bad he might have been a better actor than he'd been a rapper. Yeah, that was a conversation. They said he had more roles. Tupac yeah. was an amazing. Oh man, LL's LL's not on this list. Amazing. Oh yeah, I'm bugging. Yeah. I'm bugging. No, no, I'm bugging. No, no, I'm bugging. LL Cool J. I'm like LL Cool J. But Tupac, captivating roles. Captivating. He was really just getting started. Juice. With what he did with Bishop, I don't think. Not even just a rapper. I'm talking about like he's in the realm of like Denzel's. When you talk about. Of, and I said method, but getting into a role, getting into a character, you felt Bishop. You yeah. felt it every time I watched Juice. To this day, I feel it. Bishop was crazy, man. and you can feel it. And, and honestly, you can feel that even though Tupac had his ways, that was a lot of Tupac in that role. You know what I'm saying? Even though he was delving into a whole nother character, that role is unbelievable, unbelievable. And then you get a, a movie like Poetic Justice, completely different. Person. Completely different. Completely different, and it's like what he what he was going and what he was doing in the realm of acting. I don't think would have been ever really done before, especially as a rapper. I'm just be straight honest with you. The way he 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 like honestly, he's in that realm of like those greats where you know they say that aura was around him, like how they talk about Michael. I really feel like that was about Tupac too, because you could feel the aura. Of him, whenever he got on the screen, whenever you hear him talk, whenever you ever see Tupac, through a video, whatever, he catches your eye. And honestly, with that acting, it's, it, uh, it's just different. It's different. And what people, it's another slept on movie, Gridlock. Gridlock was about to be really crazy. crazy. I don't think I saw Gridlock. Gridlock, man, it's crazy. That was like the last thing he did, right? Yes. I don't think I saw Just saying, Gridlock. like, those, those type of roles. Man. I didn't like about the bro. I think I liked it when it first came tough. out. When it came out, after I watched it, I was like, this movie is terrible. Why do we like this? It's tough. Nah, bro, the movie is classic, bro. <laughs> I know it is, but this is like, I look back, I'm like, yo, why, did, why did we like this? And talk about your, your boy, man, X. X. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. You know, X. It's, you, know what, you know why X is such a good actor? Because it's like, if you ever, like, see X talk in real life, he's is, he's hard to follow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're saying, I got to... It's a, you know what I'm saying? But then, like, when you watch him act, it's very, like, calm and yep. controlled. That's facts. It's like, it's like he's a normal human being. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't, that's not who he is in real life at all. Right. So it's like, yo, like, like so that that just shows you, like, just how, how, how serious that he took, you know, mm -hmm. acting and things like that. So that was really dope. Um, I just watched Cradle to the Grave on, uh, on HBO Max. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he smoked that. You know, he was. I know he was barely in, uh, but he was still getting his feet wet with the acting thing. And Romeo must die. Bro, belly, but yeah, but he, yeah, oh yeah, belly. Yeah, nah, he smoked bro. belly. Bro. But in belly, he was him. You belly, really think bro. about it. Oh my god. In bro. belly, he was he was him in real life. All right, hot take real quick. I know we about to go down the list real quick, but hold up, I gotta ask him this. I gotta ask him this because I'm gonna ask you guys in the comments. Ask you guys who had the better role. I know uh, who had the better role, Bishop and Juice. Or DMX and Belly. What's DMX name, Belly? I, Tommy. I don't know why. Yeah, Tommy. 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 Or Tommy and Belly. Uh, 
Dang, it's been a minute since I've seen both. I'm gonna go with uh Dang, I don't know. I bro, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go with I think I might go with uh Tupac because I feel like X kind of played somebody who was already like that was something he he that was him in real life. He was okay, he was always okay, robbing people. Okay. okay. Cause I was about to say, being, I was about gritty. Say, but both though. Both yeah. that was I wanna say that was Tupac in real life. Like, I don't but, think Tupac was a crazy yes, dude yes. out to shoot everybody. Yeah, yeah, not, not that, that was something else. Not that. Like but, that speech he gave by the lockers? Yeah. Like, but not that, but the aura though. Because at the end of the day, like Tupac even explains, you know, I don't think you know, even though we know the history, Tupac Father present presence, you know, wasn't that much there. I wouldn't say that it wasn't, you know, because he did. I, from what I know, had a step pops and all this stuff, but it wasn't there. So even in the movie Juice, you know, what I'm saying you could see that, you know, what I'm saying honestly, where he was, where he was going at, where he was tapping into, because it was just at that time a lack of like guidance. You know what I'm saying? Even though you know his mother is amazing, amazing, and his his family comes from Black Panthers. But you can feel the energy of Tupac. He's been through a lot. Mm -hmm. Understand when he was raised. He was raised in Baltimore. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that stuff in, in, in Juice, you know, was yeah, a I think I'm a still, I think I'm still giving it to Tupac. I give that. Okay. I see. I don't know. That's hard for me. That's I might, hard. I might, I think I, I just because you say Tupac, I might say X. Because X, it, it, it just. The next time the state seems like it's going to be in a bag. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, it just both, both because they're just real. They're authentic. So moving on to the other one. Ice Cube, man. Ice Cube is the uh, the legend, one of the goats himself, one of the goats himself. The Boys in the Hood, <laughs> Friday, of course. True we, we can go about a uh, uh, Anaconda. <laughs> uh, he was an Anaconda. Right. Yeah, he had a good role in Anaconda. Don't yeah. sleep. He was an Anaconda. The Earth telling me he was like, yeah, I had to review Anaconda. He did have a yeah. good role. All about the Benjamins. He had some. He My had mom. some hits, bro. Are we done yet? Are we done? Yo, I mean, all we done is up or because that's the most commercial one, but it is legendary. I but keep 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 been doing this for a minute. Yeah, keep he been doing it for a minute. Yeah, how high? No, not how high. Um, high and learning. Yeah, how you learn? Oh, yeah, high learning. Yeah, that's a good one. How you learn it? And some some other notable ones. So we want to mention because I'm gonna get we gonna get on this conversation next. So I ain't gonna mention his name just yet. But another one who needs to be noticed is. Queen Latifah. Shout out to the Queen. Queen yeah. Latifah. She got show right now. Legendary. She has been in plenty of movies. I'm talking about of and course shows. the of course the uh, and shows. You of course the most notable one. You know, set it off, of course. And what's the movie? Uh, All About the Money or about I forgot what the movie is. It's another movie. It's like three three of them. Taxi. It's she has Beauty plethora of movies. Beauty, Beauty Shop. Shop. The movie girl was common. She got girls. Oh, yeah, too. just right. Yeah, Queen. Of, Queen House she party. Got, she House can go party. back to. Edward. She she got her first Queen. role. Her first speaking role at, at, at Agatha Edward was the Fresh Prince. Like that mm -hmm. Fresh Prince episode when you first saw it, that was her first time ever like. For like anything, yeah. Will okay. like, was like, yo, you just, oh, yeah. really? I'm like, yeah, that was her first time doing like anything. Mm -hmm. That's all it takes, man. All it takes is somebody be with shot, and then you know you feel like you're good at it. People want to see more of you. But yeah, Queen Latifah was definitely. Sure. Uh, what's the other thing she did with LL? Last holiday, last holiday. Last holiday. I, was like, yeah, that movie. I like last holiday. Um, set it off is always going to be like the yeah. like that's the gonna be the joint. Everyone's gonna think about because Cleo was the Cleo yeah, was something because else. She destroyed it. She yeah. destroyed it. Like she, she smoked their own. She Cleo. destroyed every role. Like I can honestly say I've never. Oh, bring it, bring it down the house. Oh, bring, bring it, it down, down the house. house. That was my jump. That was my. She got the equalizer show up right now. Yep, yep. And she my got mother, it. my mother was sleeping on that. So she was like, "Queen Latifah has the equalizer." I was uh, like, "Queen Latifah." Oh, and then she's, but now she's watching it faithfully. I'm like, oh, "Look at you! Look at you watching she the equalizer with Queen Latifah." She that one. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give credit to him right now because this, this is my brother, probably favorite rapper, if not Ludacris for sure, for sure. Ludacris definitely one of the been, first rappers he, to have a Grammy yeah, and an Oscar. Yeah, he definitely been in a lot of movies. Let's give Ludacris his credit. Got another one coming out right now. Because he don't get his credit because Ludacris definitely is yeah, legendary. Ludacris been doing this for a minute. Ludacris, um, his first joint, his first real joint, the movie Crash. Yo, it's a Crash, great I remember movie. that. I remember that. Oscar winning movie. Oh my God. Dang, I remember that's that. a movie. I feel that's a movie that's that a everyone needs to watch movie, today. Crash with the movie. The, 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 what's going on today? The movie is a, is about race mm -hmm. and just how people's lives can just crash into one another. Mm -hmm. Again, we haven't given a moment of time. And he smoked it. He was the um, like the all with the super woke black guy yeah, that was huh? still out doing a bunch of wrong stuff. But he always complained about everything. Mm -hmm. Then you got the Fast and Furious role, and you know he's got this 
you know, he's working on his own Netflix show right now with his daughter, and he's got the cooking show out right now. Fast and Curious about to come up with a new joint. Mm -hmm. He did some other joints. I forgot. Yeah, he did this. He did the Max. The, uh, was going with Gerard Butler. He was in Max mm -hmm. Payne. Yeah, Luda, Luda's nah, Luda, been in some stuff. Yeah, bro. Luda's done some things. He's on, like, like I said, one of the first rappers to have a Grammy and an Oscar. You yeah. know, before it wasn't that many guys that had both. So like, definitely shot. He just did a joint with uh, Amazon. It's called Ride. Mm -hmm. He's like a star. It was he did great, but the movie was only alright. But yeah, shout out to Luda. Hey, shout out to Luda. I had to fan out real quick. Nah, you got to. I had to. I had to give yeah. you the spotlight because that he's underrated, bro. You we got to talk about Common because Common is everywhere. Not Common too. Comment is everywhere. That's a, that's a fact. <laughs> like, it's to a point nah, now where I'm tired of saying that. I love comments. Like, yo, comment. Comment get to that bag, bro. Why am I talking about comment? Comment a legend. I ain't going to lie. Comment, comment. But that's why he on here. I, don't, yeah. I can't even begin to name the comment who he's I just know he's been in a plethora of movies. We can name anything. Like, he just that's said just right. Most. Yeah, one it. Most Def is another one. Who most Def very is especially mad stuff. He's really right, good. Right, the early 2000s. Most Def ran the whole 2000s, like being in movies as a rapper. He he was one of he them. He did jokes with Bruce Willis. He's done, yes, he's done a lot. The Browns, of the Brown Sugar, Sugar Joint. Sugar, yes. Yo, the, oh yeah, then the hip the hip hop bro. You remember the hip hop bro with Beyonce, Makai Fiverr, and Carmen? Yup. He was the cop. Somebody put something up. Y'all want to see a remake of Carmen? I said, listen, I love everybody in that movie. I love Beyonce, Makai, Bow Wow, most. Please don't remake yeah. that. <laughs> no, you know another person. You don't bro? need it. We ain't we ain't put bro, and this is one of my favorite movies. Who? Andre Walmart? three, Andre three K, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, it's crazy that you just said yeah, more Mark, more brothers, more brothers. Yeah, Mark Wal. I know Mark Wal was not really a rapper. It's a people. Nah, he, it don't matter. That's true though. It's true though. I mean, yes, it's, it's still he's still in it because yeah, he still he still counts. But yes, Andre three K, bro, and Big Boy, but mostly Andre. Andre three K, yes, Big Boy too. But Andre three K yeah. and four brothers was amazing. I think four brothers friend. might have been the first joint he did. Yeah, no, nah, not first. Well, maybe one of them. Maybe Idlewild is on uh, HBO, Idlewild, too, I think. I'm going to go look for that. Semi-pro, he's been a... Uh, oh, Be Cool. Be Cool's on HBO. I love Be Cool. That's another he one. He was funny in Be Cool. Another one, bro. Andre DK got, some sneaky, got some sneaky jumps. Bro. Yeah, so, three stacks. Definitely. So, I know it's a lot of names on here, but we're going to move on to the next shout one. Shout out to Method Man, because he just got an award. And he's shout out to Method he's been killing me out there, too. Because Method... Method is, is going crazy out here. He really is going crazy. And honestly, he's one of my best uh, and favorite people on power now. Um, Method and Mary J, of course. You know, Mary J, one of the goats as well. So, Will Smith is the one we want to really talk about and, and pinpoint. Because on our next topic, we're going to talk about something that honestly hit the, hit the mainstream waves. And it was crazy because we was already in conversation about it. Me and my friends were already having this conversation. Who has the most range? And I'm not saying actor. Who has the most range? Jamie Foxx versus Will Smith. So who has the most range? I think personally, because of course, I'm not saying of course, because let me just add this, this disclaimer. I love Will Smith. Trust me. Will Smith is one of my favorite uh, actors. Definitely a top five actor of mine, just being real. Acting is he he and he's done it on at different stages too, but I think he's in a different realm. We can go down the list, we can go about 20, 20 he can do a versus off rip, <laughs> off rip 20 easy. Yeah, but what is. I'm saying about Jamie Foxx, and what I would say Jamie Foxx has the most range because I feel like it is no, I feel like he's the most talented, almost celebrity there is. I'm not even trying to be funny when I say it, he's up there, he's probably like, top, top two, like For me, I said, Chris, honestly, and that, that's a good one too, yeah. honestly. When you really put it into perspective, this man can act. He is a artist. I'm talking about real artist, sing, singer, comedian. <laughs> like literally, he does it all top tier. And we can go down the list of what else he does. Yeah. You ever seen the soloist? <laughs> like think about it. Have you ever seen Soul? We just have you soul. ever seen like the Soul? Jamie, Jamie Django. Well, was not supposed to be Django. He turned the it down. Django. People were sleeping when I was having this call. I'm like, Django is one of the greatest movies, too. If you really think about it in acting, him yeah. and Samuel L. went crazy. Yeah. Jamie Foxx is so good. When you really think about it, Ray was a terrible movie, but he was no, so amazing. Was fine. No, it is, oh, okay. it's just okay. that he was, he was so That's amazing you that you watched yes. the movie. But the movie itself, man. Now, but but Jamie, Jamie, and to your point, smoked, and, and to your point pre-podcast, pre to this point pre-podcast, when you get into method acting, in my opinion, I method think. acting is the hardest acting to do because you have to, you're you're really trying to get into this whole other character. Mm -hmm. Just like, yes, you do an acting, but you're trying to really fit a specific person. 
you know, a to be somebody person to be somebody, somebody exists that actually yeah. exists. He's doing Mike Tyson right now. He's doing a. Oh, he's really? gonna be doing a series. Yes. Oh, wow. Jamie Foxx is about to do Mike Tyson. So I'm just saying, Jamie Foxx is in talent wise. I don't feel like it's anybody that can match up to with him. I'm just being real. Like because we're not just singling out acting because acting he does that amazing too. Will just is different. Is is different. My boy had to break it down to me. I ain't gonna lie to you. You break it down, it's different. You know what I'm saying? You get you talking about. I'm taking about my word. I'm taking my. I'm taking my, my oh yeah, I, yeah. I can't. I can't because he on the side of Will. But mm -hmm. Jamie Fox, range wise, I I feel like he don't get his just credit. He does, but he doesn't. Uh, the realm of like the Denzels and Wills. Uh, he. I, I feel like people. He's people. Saw I feel, all over exactly, but I feel like people still think he's a little bit below that. I don't think that at all. I don't think that at all. So I, I would say Jamie. I'm gonna go. I'm Will. Will's the goat to me, man. Um, other than Jamie. Will Smith is probably is the only guy that was dominant and who was super successful in TV, mm -hmm. super successful in music, and super successful in film. Mm -hmm. Other than Jamie, you know, Will Smith yeah. is like the only person who, who was dominated in all three facets. Just speaking of his filmography, man, I mean, his, his body of work is incredible. Not even just the quality of films, but the people he's worked with, I mean, he's worked with everybody. He's worked with Jamie. He's worked yeah, with Salma Hayek. He's worked with Scorsese and De Niro. He's he's worked with. Um, I'm 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 still hoping for him and Denzel joint. Um, yeah, that for real. Yeah, and uh, but he's he's worked with everybody. I mean, he's done every type of film you can think of. He's yeah. done rom com, yeah. regular com, action, yeah. sci fi, um, three animated. Mm -hmm. He's done DC Comics, he's done Disney, he's done DreamWorks. I mean, musicals, because he just right. did a Latin, like, he's he done he's done everything. He's been a superhero. Mm -hmm. He's technically been a supervillain because he was dead shot. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he's done it. I mean, he's done everything. It doesn't make it don't make no sense. And he's, he's done method acting. He did Ali. He was also uh right now he's supposed to he's getting ready to do the uh the movie about Venus and Serena, he's gonna be their dad. I think the, the yep, movie I about him. He was mm -hmm. Chris Gardner in the Pursuit of Happiness. Mm -hmm. He was the dude from Concussion, Dr. Umalu. He, yeah, he was a lawyer. Yeah, I mean, so Will has done everything. It's just it's ridiculous. Um don't do me like that, Jim. Yeah. I do like think that. I do think that um Jamie's more talented because though where where, where Will beats him in acting, Jamie beats him in music. Right. Not to say that Will isn't, you know, somebody to be respected in music. He was the first rapper to win a Grammy for crying mm -hmm. out loud. Um, and even after that, when people started saying, oh, he's whack, he still kept winning Grammys. You know, Will, Will still got some slaps. Ain't that many, but he's got, he's got some slaps. Yeah, you do. You can't, you um, can't, deny. can't deny that. But I definitely do. I think Jamie, it's, it's very safe to say Jamie has a better music career. Jamie's got more hit records, mm -hmm. you know, more songs that you would go back and play. Is Jamie Foxx probably the only song that you would go back and play Will Smith in summertime? Mm -hmm. He's got other joints like Miami and Switch, but like the, I, if you going if you wanted to play a Will Smith song, you gonna play summertime. Yeah, for sure. Jamie got joints you gonna go back and play Fall for Your Time. Fall for Boy. Play Jamie, on the alcohol. Jamie got hits, um, hits. What's the what's the joint with him and Chris Brown? Bro, I think he got two just like me or something like that. I, 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 I forgot, too. but it was it was a but bomb. Got that hits. joint. Yeah, so Jamie's. Jamie's an extremely talented guy as far as range. Um, yeah, I, if you if you're talking about just talent wise, I'm gonna go with Jamie. If you're talking about like as far as acting, it's just it's hard it's hard to compete against Will. Yeah, hard his his range is his his body of work is amazing. It's like looking at a like somebody like a like a Lil Wayne or a Jay Z or a Drake, just looking at like or a Kanye, looking at their album. But look at this body of work, right. like. Like you just look at all the Will's it's, films, it's like, sheesh, yeah, like he amazing. did this and yeah, this. You can't. Jeff Goldblum. It's hard. Wait, he worked with him. Like, yeah. it's hard to debate that. And he's not dumb. Like he's been on a he's been on a crazy run these last like, couple years. Like, yeah. Since he got on Instagram, and he, he got, got the, yeah, I think he got the social crazy. Media. He got the social. Yeah, he media. did the Gemini Man joint. He got the. Uh, I think he's got like I think he's supposed to play like a drug lord mm -hmm. and another joint in the future. He did. He about to do Bright Two. I think he was the first person. Like to do like a major film for Netflix because I think right it's like that first time they asked him, yeah, like, I think so too. You know, yeah, so like, like and now you look at what Netflix is and making their own film, you might be writing this thing, sure. yeah. So but that's another thing. He, he Jamie, done Netflix, but Jamie Foxx, the Jamie Foxx recent film was fire. I am not gonna lie to you, that was Power. Power. I didn't watch it. Project Power was actually people saying like, like that, was, that was actually good. No, and the one before that, it was another one before that that he had real good, real slept on. It was about um. 
he was he was going into he had got in a heist or something. Somebody somebody did something, and then uh, his his son was with him. I forgot which one it was. I'm trying to think about it, but his son was with him or whatever. He was uh, about to go pick up his son. He was always busy with work, da da da. Then he got caught up in the work. I this sounds like waste money. It was crazy. It's, it's kind of similar, but nah, it was a good uh, good movie. But yeah, but this is a, this is a tough. Jamie, call, Jamie, Jamie different. Will Jamie Smith. different. I, I'm gonna ride different. for Will Smith unless it's Jamie Foxx, bro. I'm gonna just be real because Jamie Foxx, he don't get his just credit to me. Like in the all all round the realm of just talented. Actors, individual. just individuals, just in general, and that's I'm glad you said it because I do feel like he's the, one of the most talented individuals. If he, not he's top two. There's no way he's not, not the most. He's not outside the top two. Because I, I, I promise you, Jamie is nothing that he really can't do, and 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 his but his movie range goes way far beyond too. It's just the fact that it's just not on. on Shoot, him and Will do the movie. Him and Will, and yeah, I, like, but and that's why I was trying to tell uh, my boy, him and Will and Ali. I mean, uh, yeah, him and uh, Will and in the movie Ali. Him also playing the role in which he plays as the supporting uh, member and cast member and actor, I feel like his role was uh, I wouldn't say more captivating, but it was a good, it had, it was a good role. It was a real good role, and he made the most out of that role because you got to see the dialogue between him and Ali. He had to do drug and everything. You know what I'm saying? And he had to go through these certain things, and it was just like that was what, what, what really kept Ali. Same was the people around him that really actually loved him and cherished him. So I was like, man, movies like that, and I, we would love to see another Jamie Will movie. But yeah, this is this is a hard hard debate. But I'm still no, I'm to the, I'm I want to see Jamie. Will and Mark Wahlberg and, and Will and Denzel. Yeah, and I'll be happy. I'll do show. Sure. I want to see definitely uh, Denzel and Will. Denzel and Jamie will be tough too, for sure. For sure. So moving on from that, man. Lastly, would you rather, as you always know, would you rather? This, this is be easy. For me. This is this is just something for everybody to comment and just talk about because this is this is a hey, it's chicken. You already know. Would you rather eat drums or flats? Drums. If you Woo! eat, if you eat all flats, you're a serial killer. Woo! I'm sorry. All I'm, like I like flats, but all flats, Woo! you're a serial killer. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, bro. I'm not, not, because I might be, like, honestly, I'm going to say flats. I'm going to say flats. But also, when I was coming up, I, I used to, I used to like drums more. Just because, I'm going to be real with you, I was, I was younger, and that was more, you know, easier to eat. I ain't have to, you know, pick my hands through the, the flat or whatever. But now, bro, flats, bro, by far, bro. Bye. That's oh, crazy. Bro. I don't know. Bye. Honestly, oh, I honestly don't see how you would get big flats over drums, bro. Bye. Drums are so easy to eat. You pick it up, you bite into it, and it's like it's over. But flats, nah. you gotta do all this other stuff, get in between it, pull it apart. But that's the that's the beauty of chicken. That's the beauty of chicken, bro. You gotta eat like it. I love flats too, but I could never do all you flats. Get, you all get, flats, you're, chicken, you're a serial killer. I don't and trust you. And if it and if it's any meat on that bone, it, it might break. If it's any pause, pause, yeah, pause, pause, pause that. <laughs> but if it's not. Honestly, you're not eating the chicken bone right. You're not. I don't care what you say. Nah, for real. You won't be eating the chicken right. Man, I've, been, chicken. I've been seeing people leave dag near a whole thing of a chicken on the plate, just uh, just picking through the bones. You got people who like, only nah, bite the middle yeah, of the chicken. Yeah, just the middle of the chicken. Put the chicken down. I'm like, ready. <laughs> just <laughs> wasting the chicken away. Flats, it's, flats. It's a certain way. It's a certain way you're supposed to eat the flats. Certain way you. I feel like flats. flats are easier to dip. Wait, and that's the main point too. That's another yeah, point. That's, that's why I that's what, dip. That's why it's a good man. Team flats out there. Man, I don't know. I love flats, but all flats, I can't trust you. You were serial killer. <laughs> that's all flats. Stay away from me. You let me get all, Let me get all the flats. I'm weak. I'm weak. But another amazing episode. Another amazing episode, yes, guys. Man. man, we love you. We love you. Hey, first and foremost, man. Rest in peace, X. I'm not going to just. I'm going to have to keep saying it. Rest in peace, Dante Wright as well. For real. For real. Our prayers are to you and your family. Hey, we're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. Let's come together, man. As you know, Color Power, Game Shift, <laughs> Phase On View Podcast, if you already know, Nine Believers, hey, hey, Black-owned businesses, I, I promise you, the table going to be full. The, the, the table going to be full, okay? So just make sure you go cop that. I will make sure you have access to that, man. Before Much we love. go, I want to just end with one of X's poems. Go ahead, bro. I feel like it can talk definitely talk. help somebody in their dark times. Because that was, I mean, X knew all about dark times. You know, he said, whenever I went through something, it brought me closer to God. And I stayed into something. So now I'm closer to God. But being closer is hard. If the test gets stronger, 
They get harder to beat and they last longer. But that's what it's always been. The joy with the pain, the dark with the light, the sun with the rain. But with the right perspective, it could be something to gain. Look for the good in the bad, not the sun when it rains. You know what I'm saying? Any, you know, so take that approach with anything you do in life. And like he also said, man, get into the word, man. Real. Get into the word of God. Get into Jesus, man. Whatever you're going through, when you truly have God, he will make it feel better. There's a lot of people that don't have any hope, bro. That's one thing that makes me feel bad. It's like, like talk to us, talk. Jesus has always been my hope. Like that's that's what you hope for when you when you're going through something. It's hard to have hope in other people because when what happens when they get down, you know. So it always makes you feel better. It, whatever you're going through is easier. So man, just learn something from X, and definitely learn about like somebody else is the power of prayer, man. So we need, it, especially in these times, mm -hmm. all you can do. He's the only one that's gonna fix all of this. Mm -hmm. The power of prayer is real, man. So that's the. Definitely take those lessons from those lessons from X, you know, learn from his passing and learn from the things that he talked about, spoke about, man. That's all I got. Absolutely, brother. Much love to you, man. Good word, good word. <laughs> hey, man, every Thursday, 5 p.m., much love, guys. Much love. Peace.